in this problem, we're being asked to use something called the vertical line test uh, to determine whether these things on these graphs represent functions or not. And this central quality of function that um, each x value has only one y value leads to this kind of easy graphical test you can perform. If you can draw a line, a straight vertical line, through the function and have it intersect the function in more than one point, then it's not a function. So for example, here, this vertical line intersects the function in two points. What that means is for this one x value, there are two different y values. So this is not a function. So let's go through and see if we can test these. The first one is a, a piecewise function. And you might think you can intersect it in two points here. But you can't because we've got an empty circle down here to show that that point's not uh, really part of the function. And same over here. So this one looks like it passes the test. Let's try the second one. Yeah, same thing here. I can't get the, the vertical line to touch two points at the same time. This one we've determined is not a function already. Um, this one, definitely not a function. I can easily make it uh, cut the function across two points there. This one. Looks like a trigonometric function. As I move the vertical line through, I can't make it intersect in more than one point. So that one looks like it passes. And this one, let's see. Aha, right there, that vertical line touches two points on the function or the relation. So it's not a function. So to sum up then, we found that this one was a function. So was this one. This one, definitely not. This one not, this one was, and this one not. So that is how to use the vertical line test to determine if something is a function.